We want you to build your business around you, your unique gifts, talents, and strengths, because you have things that are going to connect with other people. You have experiences that are going to connect with other people. I am so excited for today's topic. Today we are going to be talking about how you can create connections and increase your sales. Now, this is something that a lot of people are always looking for. Like, how do I get more sales? How do I get more customers? How do I get engagement on Facebook? How do I do all of this stuff? And there's a big difference between connecting with you and a difference between connecting with your network marketing company. So I want to kind of give you an idea or kind of shine some light on the way that maybe your company is teaching you or your upline is teaching you how to build your business and the way that it's going to actually bring you success. So what your company teaches is you want to get people to be in love with the company, right? And love what they do, love what they stand for. They're a debt-free company. They do all of these things. They give back, like connect them to the company because if they're connected to the company, then they're going to buy the products, right? So then if they love the company, they buy the products, then now they're connected to you because you are the person that sold to them. That is how all companies teach. That's how they teach their marketing, everything. Like I even remember my very, very first network marketing company that I was a part of. I had a flip chart and I would go into a party and I would put my flip chart down and I would turn to the first page and the first page was, this is all about the company. They're a debt-free company. They've been around for 50 years. They're so great. The company, the company, the company. Then I would turn the page. Look at all these amazing products. They are, they do this and it's, and it's toxic free and that's all of these things, right? And then I would tell a little bit about myself. So that's the way that your company teaches you to market, right? Company first, products, then you. Well, that's because your company, they know that they're going to be around forever. You as a rep, they don't know if you're going to be around forever. So they want all the people that you talk to to be connected to them because then that will ensure that they'll still buy the product because if you decide to stop selling and your customers still want to buy the stuff, they're just going to find somebody else to buy something from. So it still increases the sales for the company. So it makes sense for the company to teach that way, right? The problem is you get people who are connected to the products or connected to the company, but they may not be connected to you. So there's some products that I purchase that are, I know they're network marketing products. And like I've been on a subscription for one network marketing product in particular for almost a year. And I have never once heard from the rep. I don't even know what her name is, but she is making money off of me every single month, right? I'm connected to the company. I'm connected to the product. I'm not connected to her at all. So if she stopped selling, I wouldn't even know. If I passed her on the street, I wouldn't even know. If she sent me an email, I probably wouldn't even know who she was, right? And so that's the way that, that like, it works great for the companies because they're still getting their products sold and they're getting their the company's name out there, but it doesn't really work for the rep. You. And the reason that it doesn't work for you is because now you become obsolete a little bit and people will just go and buy from somebody else. You know, have you ever had someone like a customer buy like a ton of stuff from you and you're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be an amazing customer. They're going to be buying stuff from me all the time. And then the next time you see them or you hear about them buying from somebody else, they aren't quote unquote loyal, right? That's because they haven't made a connection with you. So the way that we're teaching how to build a network marketing business is absolutely backwards. So let's turn it on its head. Now let's talk about how here at Social Tenacity, how we teach you to build your business. Because we want you to build your business not around your company. We want you to build your business around you. Your unique gifts, talents, and strengths. Because you have things that are 
going to connect with other people. You have experiences that are going to connect with other people. That's why we teach you to create an avatar and to find who is, who is you maybe five or 10 steps ago, because that's the person you want to be talking to and you know how to connect with them. You have stories that are going to relate with them. You have things that are in common. It's going to build this connection. So we want to have our audience connect with us first because then that's going to build that no like, and trust factor. So then when you do offer a product or your opportunity, they already are going to trust you because they've built that connection. So once they're connected to you, then they're going to build the connection to a product. It's just like, do you have, like, we all have like really close friends and we have those friends that are just like acquaintances that we like know, but, and we're, we're friends. We're like friends on Facebook, but like, if you saw them at the grocery store, you may need not would say hi to them, you know, those kind of people. So if those kind of people are acquaintances, if they came and they said like, Oh, you should go try out this restaurant. It's so good. You'd be like, okay. But it'd be one of those like, you drive past it, you're like, oh, I think someone I remember said that that would be good. Maybe it's something we should try. But you maybe don't do it. Then you have like your closest friends say, hey, last night we went to this restaurant. It is awesome. You better believe that your next time that you do like a date night, that's where you're going to go because your really good friend told you that that's where you should go. This is the same thing. We build connections with our audience. They build that no like, and trust factor. You really care about them. You share your stories. You build the connection with them. And then when you say, hey, I tried this awesome product and it was able to help me to be able to do this, 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 people are going to buy it, right? So that's how you increase your sales. And this is now when people are now connected to the product, then they learn about the company and they're like, oh, well, this company is really awesome too. So it kind of is like a, a second benefit, right? And so then they're like, okay, so now they're connected through you, now through the product, now they're connected to the company. So it's totally backwards from what the company has been teaching. And when we do that, what it does as well is it makes it so once you have customers that are buying your product, they're going to be more loyal they're going to be asking you questions about it. And those are the people who turn into your very best recruits. So if you lead with how can I just connect with people, I'm going to connect with my audience, build the connection, then lead them to a product. And then that leads them to the company. You are going to have so much more success because you have people that are connected to you. This totally makes all of that like, well, my sister's friends, boyfriend's aunt also sells it. So I felt obligated I needed to buy from her. It makes all of that go away. And I'm sure that you guys have had that happen to you before. I had that happen to me a ton before I realized this. That like I, I thought that I had this order in the bag, especially when it was like Christmas time. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be like the, a really great order. And then come to find out they bought from somebody else or they were at a fair or a show or something like that, some event, and they ended up buying it from there instead of from me. And it's like, oh, okay, well, and then you're like, but I provide good customer service, right? It's not about that. It's about the connections that you make with people. And so if maybe you're not great at connections, like that's something that you could say, okay, I'm going to start learning about this. I want to know how I can create connections more. So you can create connections by really it's relating stories. So if they tell you something, you tell a story back, like just practice that, you know, because especially when you get vulnerable and you tell stories of like things that didn't work out so well, or things that maybe make you a little bit uncomfortable to tell, but it would really connect with that person because it's going to match what they're going through right at that time. That's the thing that is really going to make the biggest difference because I mean, if you think of any of your close friends that maybe that you've talked to a lot, they know like everything about you and your life, you have this connection, you have a bond and it's because of those shared stories. And so if you share stories in Facebook, in your like Instagram stories, and you're just sharing things that happen to you and um, if you do it through like email, you can share stories through email. That's the way that you connect with your audience and they're going to feel more connected to you. So then when you then talk about a product, they're going to want to buy it. So 
This is so awesome. I hope that this has helped. Your aim for today of how you can apply this is I want you to start thinking, how can I connect with my audience more? How can I maybe share more stories? Maybe you make a list of stories that you think about the person that they have the problem that you're trying to solve or that you have the solution for and start thinking about all the things that you've had to do to be able to get from where you're person you want to help where they're at now and where you are now. What are all the things that happened? And start making the list. And now you have a list of like 20, 30 Facebook posts, Facebook lives, Insta stories, all of those things that you can now share with your audience. Thank you guys so much for listening. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys all next time. 